as we prepare ourselves to minister effectively and uh, authentically in the prophetic gifting, uh, one of the ways that we can do so is to know what the Word of God says, to grow in our understanding of the Word of God, because uh, uh, the Word of God is really uh, our foundation. Only when we know the Word will we know that the leading of the Spirit is in line with the Word of God. So therefore, if we give ourselves to uh, reading the Word, if we give ourselves to studying the Word and uh, in, in increasing in our understanding of the revelation which is in the Word of God, and if we root ourselves in the Word of God, then, um, then we will be actually doing a good thing. We will know what the Word of God says. It will be a foundation and it will be like a, like a safety net. So, when we are led by the Spirit, we will also, we will always know that it is based on the Word of God because the Spirit of God will not contradict the Word of God. So we will always know that, um, uh, that we will be able to uh, follow through with what God is saying. We'll be able to move with confidence when we know that, yes, this is what the Spirit of God says and it's lined with, uh, with what I've seen in the Word, which is established, uh, my heart is established in the Word. Therefore, I will give all my effort, I will put all my attention in, in following through what the Spirit of God is saying and what I've received as the prophetic Word. So, so that's, that's something that can happen. And also, many times when God um, gives the prophetic Word, it's, it could be symbolic. You know, He, he could give us a picture he could give us a dream, he could give us a vision which is symbolic. Like for Peter, uh, when Peter was there, uh, uh, at, uh, before going to Cornelius' house, he saw this vision. He was in a trance, he saw this vision and it was a big sheet which was lowered from the heavens and there were all kinds of animals there and, and the voice he heard was, rise Peter, rise and kill and eat. So uh, it was symbolic of the Gentile community and, uh, and, and the voice was what God has, um, uh, you know, what God has said clean, you should not say unclean. So um, there was a lesson, there was a, it was symbolic in nature that, that Peter received. So um, when we know the word, uh, many things that are symbolic, we will be able to interpret it in the light of God's Word. So it's important that we know the Word of God, that we are built and established in the Word of God. Uh, one other way to prepare ourselves is to spend time in prayer and fasting. Uh, prayer helps, you know, um, open up uh, communication with God. When we, the more we spend time with Him, uh, the closer we are to Him and we grow in our intimacy with Him. So uh, prayer helps even shut down the noise of our own emo emotions. You know, when we hear God's voice, when we when we open up and we talk to Him, prayer uh, helps us to shut down our, our, our own emotions and, and also fasting. So um, this helps us to prepare uh, ourselves to be more sensitive, to hear the voice of the Spirit, to hear what God is saying. So, uh, so as we close here, let's just pray that uh, we will make these alignments in our heart to not base our value, our worth on the gifts, our identity is not on the gifts, that we will give every effort to, uh, to grow in the word, to root ourselves in the word, right word and doctrine, and also that we will give ourselves to pray, uh, and especially to pray in the spirit, pray in tongues, and, and that we will fast uh, to make ourselves uh, sensitive to, to hear the voice of God. Father, we thank you for this time. We thank you for the instruction in your word and uh, regarding the prophetic and, and how we can prepare ourselves, Lord, to receive, the, your, to hear your voice and to move in the prophetic gift. And we pray that, Lord, that each one of us, Lord, that you will mold us to be um, effective vessels, willing vessels, effective vessels, whom you can, uh, to, through whom you can actually reach out, Lord, minister to and also minister, Lord, through us, God. Father, we thank you for this opportunity that you've given us and we give you all praise at this time. We give you all the glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.